Half a million years ago, there were many species of megafauna far larger than their modern day relatives. From bears, wolves, rhinos and hippos, many of these creatures found their larger forms were more suitable to ever-changing ice ages. Much like today, the relatives of elephants were the largest land-dwelling animals, and in India lives the largest of them all. Across the grasslands, taking long, steady strides, is a male Paleoloxodon nomadicus, or Asian straight tusked elephant, the largest land mammal ever to walk the earth. As a full grown bull, he stands 5.2 meters high and weighs over 20 tons, three times the size of a modern African elephant. He and his kind are so large, no predators could ever touch them. None even come close. Such a huge body requires immense amounts of food, which he mostly gets from grazing and occasionally browsing. He only has to sleep between four to six hours a day. The rest of his time is spent feeding or moving to another place to feed. As a male, he lives alone, but females live together in small herds with their young. Females are almost always raising a single calf or pregnant with one. A pregnancy for this species lasts over two years. The colossal male continues to graze, and eventually sees a herd of female Paleoloxodon. Normally this would be an opportunity to pass on his genes, but it is not the mating season. Otherwise he'd be in musk, his body rippling with testosterone, giving him a hair-thin temper. Without hormones clouding his mind, he can see the group of females is acting strangely. They are all gathered around something on the ground, standing there silently. After getting slightly closer, the male sees what it is, and knows what they are doing. One of the Paleoloxodon females has died, likely having fallen from a nearby cliff, and now her body is surrounded by her family. Such is the intelligence and bond of elephants, that they have the ability to grieve, a rare trait even amongst mammals. Around her body stands her sisters, aunts, cousins, nephews, and her son, who is only months away from leaving the herd to live on his own. The close family caress the body of their deceased herd member with their trunks, and comfort one another with soothing noises. They may be here for hours, and so not wanting to disturb them, the lone male moves away and grazes elsewhere. Later that night, he returns to the area to find the herd has moved on, having said their goodbyes to the deceased female. Her son will now be looked after by his aunts. The large male tentatively walks to where the day-old body lays. He did not know this individual, but even he felt sorrow at seeing one of his kind dead. He does not touch the body, but stands watch over it for a long while, and eventually parts ways. It is time for him and the rest of his kind to leave these plains and find fresh growth south. The mightiest land mammals ever to live must move on, for even they are not invincible. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will be breaking down the largest species of elephant, Paleoloxodon nomadicus, or Asian straight tusked elephant. Paleoloxodon nomadicus was a massive species in the Elephantidae family that lived in Southeast Asia in the middle of the late Pleistocene era. Only fragmentary remains have been found, and so understanding everything from where it fits on the family tree to how large it was is difficult. However, rough estimates of thigh bones have calculated a shoulder height between 4.5 meters and 5.2 meters and weighs between 20 and 24 tons. This would make it the largest land mammal of all time, just beating out Paraceratherium, an ancient relative of rhinos. In fact, Paleoloxodon nomadicus was larger than all dinosaurs not in the sauropod family. Though it should be noted that the author of this study stated that these measurements require revalidation, as the few remains and poor quality of them makes it hard to calculate size accurately. Paleoloxodon nomadicus is most recognizable from the enormous forehead bone called the parieta occipital crest, 
which held the muscles used to support its head and neck. Based on the morphology of the teeth, the Maticus was more of a grazer than a high browser, though the amount of plants this creature would have had to consume must have been staggering. The species is believed to have died out around 56,000 years ago, during a time that much of the world's megafauna was dying out or already extinct. They may have had some interaction with humans, though it's likely that ancient man stayed well clear of these giants, seeing them as too big to hunt or even be around. Still, the Paleoloxodon family was very successful, spreading across Europe and Asia, with species ranging from the size of modern elephants to dwarf elephants that lived on islands, and of course claiming the title of largest land mammal. Of course, it is difficult to know how they behaved, but since they are quite closely related to modern elephant species, it's likely they acted similarly, with females and their young living in herds, and males living on their own once they reached a certain age. They may have been very intelligent and very social, but unquestionably were extremely powerful. They're so large it's difficult to know what would even attempt to attack an infant nomadicus. So we don't know a huge amount about them. Even its title of largest land mammal is a loosely held one, but even if this is disproved at a later point, there is no denying that this species was insanely huge. African bull elephants weigh around 6 tons. Even in the low estimates, Nomadicus was over 3 times that size, even rivaling sauropods. But what do you think of Paleoloxodon Nomadicus? Which lesser known species should I do a video on next? Until next time, thank you for watching.